Let's cover some of the effects that you can apply to your audio files. Go to the Effects tab in the toolbar and click the Special Effects button. This opens a list of effects that you can apply to your file or a selected region in your file. Echo repeats a sound after a short time. You can use the presets to mimic the type of echo that you want to use or use the sliders if you know which levels to enter. This is what the Granite Canyon the Granite Echo Canyon, effect Granite Canyon, sounds Canyon, like. Canyon, sounds Canyon, like, Canyon, sounds Canyon, like, Canyon, sounds Canyon, like, Canyon, sounds Canyon, like. Canyon. Reverb is similar to Echo, but instead of repeating a sound once, it reflects the sound several times. Again, you can select a preset setting to mimic the type of reverb that you want to hear or adjust the sliders to the desired levels. This is what the Auditorium Reverb effect sounds like. It is always fun to play with the different effects to see how they change your audio file. You can always use undo to remove an effect and try something new. Now let's look at the speed button. Here you have the option to adjust the speed, the pitch, or the speed and the pitch. If we click the speed and pitch change, we can increase or decrease the speed and pitch at the same time. 200% will double the speed and pitch. 50% will slow it down and lower it by half. Click the play button to hear a preview. This is what a 150% increase sounds like. Use reverse to make a selection or file play backwards. For more WavePad tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.